We all know, it, to some degree, we realize that unmet behavior health needs is the number one issue in most of our communities. We believe and we're passionate that one of the opportunities we have is to make, meet this unmet need around behavior health is create a mobile community where our staff have the ability to go to the people to, in their homes and in their community. We put together teams that um, come from different culture backgrounds. We've put together teams that come from different experiences, different expertise, um, just different knowledge um, so that we can all kind of share um, and then that way when we recognize that there's a need in a family or an individual we know where to point them to as far as resource. It takes a lot of pieces to, to sort of get where we want or get to the outcomes that we want which are you know just good healthy outcomes for families in our community. When we talk about a holistic or, or systemic approach what we kind of like make emphasis on is being mindful and being aware of all the things that can impact a person's mental health. How they're doing in their community, how they're doing at school, um, are they taking care of themselves physically? That's what we make emphasis on. We try to give that individual the family side, the community side, the health side. So that's what we mean by a systemic approach. If I was somewhere where my caseload was so big, I couldn't do that. So I think that Hoylton really has that mix between the quality and the quantity of people that we service. The counseling department here at Hoylton uh, is very supportive when it comes to kids' behaviors. They will do a lot of one-on-one -on -one with a child and if they need family therapy or whatever, they're here to help. The environments at Hoylton are um, really valuable just because we have different spaces that they can use that really kind of help them thrive. You know, the art room, they can be silly and paint and be creative um, and we can kind of use that to explore their feelings and then the playroom, most of the time with kids, you learn a lot about them and a lot about their emotions and feelings through play. And so that's super beneficial to have all the toys and stuff. Um, and then in most of our therapy rooms, we have activities for the kids to do, but it's also more of a comfortable space, with comfortable couches and pillows and stuff like that for the kids to feel comfortable and engaged. I want people to really know that there is no wrong door here. So just come in sit down, have a conversation with um, one of the therapists here and um, talk about what it is that you're looking for. Um, because really what we'll do is we will help that individual or that family. If you don't feel comfortable coming in our doors, then give us a call and we can meet you. There's no wrong question. There's no, you know, wrong thoughts or, or wrong doors. We'll see what we can do.